Oh, hey, everyone. Uh, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Hey, it's a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Evolands, where, well, we'll be continuing with Evolands 2. Okay, this is our sixth stream of this, and honestly, I didn't expect this the game to go this long. Not to say that I'm... You know, yeah, not to, yeah, not to say that I'm disappointed with it or anything. Yep, should have seen that one coming. More that just I'm impressed with how much further they've been able to uh, extend things out. Not to say that they are over, that they're pulling it too thin or something, but uh, some bits of this do feel a bit overly long, like the flying section was. Oh, yeah. The flying sector was no fun. Yeah, it was for a bit, but it just went on for way too long to be completely enjoyable, I'd say. Uh, oh, nice. This could be a little bit fun, too. Oh, no. They're gonna drag this on and on. Then it goes from fun and being stressful, but you know, if it's like the old school game, if you mess up once, twice, you have to start from the very beginning. True, but we didn't need to do that, at least. Yeah, that's some shit. We had our health bar. Out. Okay. And they've been doing it pretty nice with this uh, it's part of the game, where they actually put in things that <laughs> require us to actually wait things out, unless we want to get hit ourselves. Uh. Uh, like that. Or get our attack interrupted. Luckily, we timed that just about right, it seems. I... Wait. We... Okay, we can <laughs> we can combo with Velvet as well, it seems. Nice. But I was gonna say is, I do hope we're all approaching the end for it soon. Yeah, I think we're at least two thirds, if not three fourths, of the way there. Get down. Again, it's not a dislike game, it's more of... Again, I, I, I sound like I'm going to record here. The other games we've been playing have been out-completing this one in terms of fun. Yeah, <laughs> as nice as this game is, Dave the Diver is just playing as better. Yeah. Not too sorry to say that. But it was also almost feel un... Or rather, almost feel almost unfair for it, in a way. Yeah, it just, it, it's a, in a way, it's sort of like how the Outer Wilds got, <laughs> got released at about the same time as the Outer Worlds, which was highly anticipated, so many people overlooked the Outer Wilds, even though it is story-wise an amazing game. And hello there. Oh, what a cute little critter. Maybe we should free it? I don't uh -oh. think that's such a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a yeah, good idea absolutely. when it comes to Metroids. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, hello, Mother Brain. <laughs> okay. What in the world is that ghastly thing? It looks like a giant slimy brain. It must be the result of an experiment gone terribly wrong. I just hope this isn't a horror movie because then we're all goners. <laughs> Only a hero survives that kind of thing, and that's not always the case either. I'm sure the other two even know what the movie is. Apparently, those metal creatures have decided to protect it. <laughs> okay, I do like the, the references that pop up all over the place. Uh, let's see, Confusion. That's going to spare us some attacks. You boost Fina. Actually, you're just going to give everyone boosters. Okay, fighting amongst each other. Uh, actually, just do that again. If we just keep doing that, they'll keep themselves busy. And Goggles just has a straight line straight to Mother Brain. Good luck, Clear now. Wait, I think it... Yes, I just gave Fina another boost. Okay, just keep them fighting amongst each other. Oh, dear. Okay, I, I I think I've got this as long as I 
Okay, that was a big attack. Oh yeah, Velvet needs health real quick now. Uh, Armor of Frost and everyone probably should have started off with that. You just deal some damage. And you heal Velvet. Okay. Next she's going to heal herself. Okay. You just keep battering that. Heal her, heal thyself. Okay, now... Boost goggles. Oh, critical hit. <laughs> Okay, now Goggles need to heal first. Let's cast Confusion. Oh, three of them. Okay, I'm guessing that the Mother Brain is immune to that. Okay, Goggles. Yeah, using Confusion a bunch is just really useful here. See, we, have, we haven't even attacked anything other than, uh, than Mother Brain, and they've just been dealing with each other. Um, okay, there we go. Didn't even need to take them out. <laughs> okay. Hi. Very hmm. nice. I've never actually played any of those uh, real-time turn-based uh, you know, games, but I think, that, I think I might give it a try at some point. Let's see. July 16, 949. Subject X is resisting more effectively than expected. Your power has visibly diminished, and the energy thus removed is now stored within the weapon. <clears throat> I will loosen my grasp on her in order to question her. End recording. And, well, judging by the fact that something's empty, yeah. So that's what the weapon is. It's energy. Pure energy. Taken from whoever Subject X is. Yeah, they're, they're a new factor in all of this. We haven't found Professor Gyro. Gyro, again, however you're supposed to say that. But he sure didn't seem very nice. Why would he do such a thing? I don't know. But maybe... Maybe it had, he had his reasons. Yeah, If he managed to siphon so much energy from someone that it basically turned into a magical nuke, uh, maybe <laughs> they had a decent enough reason to try and, well, not have them run around... Oh, willy-nilly. Maybe he wants to protect something. Or someone. Protect someone. I don't know if that's really just... If that really justifies such a risk. When you love someone, you know, you do all you can to protect them. And you, Fida, who would you protect? It's, <laughs> of course, it's Goggles. He's protected me ever since we met from all kinds of things. So, so I'd like to be able to return the favor. But for that to happen, he'd have to be in danger. Best not wish for something like that, or you might get what you're asking for. That's true. With all this traveling back and forth in time, I'm starting to mix up cause and effect. The world was so much simpler than uh, was so much simpler before. Everything had a beginning and an end. You couldn't change what had happened. You could only regret things. I wonder what will happen when we finally destroy that weapon. What will become of the future you visited? All the people who lived there. I'm especially worried about Menos. He's still there, stuck in a time that's not his own. What will happen to him? Menos, Prince of Demonia. I still struggle to believe you actually met him. Do you realize that thousands of pages were written attempting to explain his disappearance? I would have loved to meet him. It would be nice to have a party of four as well. 
Now, how do we destroy this thing? There has to be a way. Hopefully one that doesn't end up causing the great disaster in the first place. Oh, here we... Again with these. Uh, don't tell me that these nut jobs set it off. If you thought you got rid of us, think again, because we are... Imperial Special Forces. Give it up, you're surrounded. And for once, they actually have the only exit blocked. This time you actually are. You'll have to beat us to get away. <laughs> don't give him any ideas. Personally, I don't want to face them one bit. They look pretty darn tough. <laughs> strong. <laughs> uh, give it up without resisting. What do we do? Want to give them a beating? Oh, hello. Goggles. Are you alright? Uh, my head hurts bad. Uh, I remember that weapon. I have to. Goggles, no! Okay, what is going on now? Weapon 001 activated. Annihilation imminent, please evacuate immediately. Oh, so yeah, by going here to try and stop this, we've only started it. Goggles! Why did you do that? Everything will be destroyed because of you. Forgive me, Fina. This voice in my head. Who are you? Okay, so were we being controlled or was that all just a Manchurian thing? Like, we were programmed to do this? It's all over. Well, game over. Thank you for playing. <laughs> okay, I did not actually... Th the end. It, no. It's just the beginning. Because last time we had... We were near a big blast. <laughs> we got sent to another time, though. Where do we get sent now, then? On? Also, does it look squashed on your ends? Because I managed to stretch it out from the 4x3, but I, th I thought it would be more stretched out on more en my end. Then. I'm sure. That looks kind of almost to me. Hmm. That you? There, there now. Just relax. You've been asleep for almost nine hours now. I had a terrible... Uh, I, I had a horrible nightmare. A dream that went back in time. It was terrible. Well... You're safe and sound now. Back in good old... 10... <laughs> 10... No. 1049. 1049? And we're back in the future. Hey! Who are you? You're not my mom. <laughs> You're new. A name. It's been a while since I needed it. You can call me... Saras. Saras. I have a feeling we have met before. I was just a young girl. Wait, were you at the demon camp? Maybe. And here's the famous goggles. Reunited again after all this time. You know goggles? Then maybe you can help him. Help him? I already have. When we first met, you helped me escape from the Imperial Guards. I aided you in kind oh, oh. by saving you from the weapons explosion. 
She's the one we, we said who ran away from the guards. Yep. The weapon. It's horrible. The great disaster did happen. We were supposed to prevent it. But goggles. Not everyone can escape their destiny. Yep, now we have 3D velvet. Vina? Where are we? The weapon? It exploded and then... Velvet. You're okay, <laughs> whatever leave. The weapon blew up, and then Sarah saved us. Let's see. The door on the side has C16 on it. I'm guessing that might be a reference to something as well. I think she brought us to the future. The future? Since we're traveling through time, I'd rather be at the time of the Magi. <laughs> no time to be picky. Cyrus, is that your name? You seem unique. Neither human nor demon. My father was a demon. My mother a human. Well, I think so. Okay, motorcycle outside. Being loud. My memories are blurred. Blur. I believe there was an arm, an arm missing there. Amazing. I don't think there's ever been a case like yours before. You truly are unique. Let me examine you. <laughs> I... Velvet! Sarah saved us from the explosion. You should really be thanking her. Okay, but how did she save us and how did we get sent through time? Like, the last time we traveled by time was through a Magalith with a lot of power being expended. Uh, so, what was there a Magalith inside the weapon or something? Hmm. Sorry, I'm fascinated by mysteries and anything out of the ordinary. Hey, speaking of mysteries... Oh, perfect time to wake up. Goggles! Are you okay? Get your wits back? About what happened in the weapon room. We don't need to discuss that. He always never wanted it to happen. It's not, it's not his fault. We just have to use another Magilith to go back to before that moment and stop the weapon from exploding. Uh, but then we start causing paradoxes, don't we? Great idea. If we start, if we take, <laughs> if we stop our previous selves, we wouldn't have ended up in the future, so we wouldn't be able to go back in time to stop ourselves. <laughs> but, um. yeah. However, that might create a space-time paradox. I'm not sure what will happen then. Hold it. Shot. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, why, it. it's why Doctor Who never visits the same place and time uh, again, because he'd run into himself, and, well, that would cause Timey Wimey to go <laughs> bye 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 it has happened a few times. Weird mm. enough. Sadly, it's not possible. Magilists were designed specifically to prevent that sort of thing. If you return now to what is your presence, you'll always arrive after the weapon is triggered. No. That can't be. My village. My family. May I ask how you know this? Only the ancient Magi knew how the Magilis, op Ma Ma Magilis operated. I... I don't know. I have memories. And sometimes I see things that are yet to come. For the, Ma yeah, for the Magilists, I know it won't work. Okay, sounds like someone might have been programmed as well. How fascinating. It's possible your heritage bestowed you with abilities no one has ever seen. Or that. As for the weapon, there is another way. Just go back to before it was created. Really? Oh, you're awesome, Cyrus. It won't be that easy. But with the Magi Key, we can indeed accomplish this feat. The Magi Key? One of the three legendary Magi artifacts? You know where it is? It's rather complicated. Magi created the key as a kind of safety. It was supposed to, 
remove something from the fabric of time. But it was far too dangerous. Okay. So they broke it and gave each fragment to a leader of their time. For a long time I have been looking for these fragments. I think I know where they are. But I will need your help to gather them. So that's it. Never thought that time itself could be changed. Well, not before meeting Goggles and Pina. So if we use the Magi Key to remove the weapon from time, it will have never existed and it will never have been activated. I don't think it's going to be that simple. Exactly. Especially with that pause of theirs. It's perfect. Let's go find those Magi Key pieces and wipe out that heinous weapon once and for all. I do hope the consequences aren't worse yet. Yep, you're not going to join? Noggles? I have memories of you as well. I think we share something. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this, it's important. You got a control terminal a system that was a that's an NES controller. This item allows you to journey through the ages. With it you can activate the Magilids. Use it to find all the fragments. I will open a pathway for you all. Yeah, because we can't really get off of this rock that's just floating in the air, it seems. And then that is totally not a portal from Diab Diablo. Goggles? You'd like to know about the pieces of the magic key? Yes. Information about which fragments? Oh, there's five? Okay. Have you met the pirate before? The howdot can be found in your presence near a volcano. They possess the fragment of fire. Information about which fragments? Ice? Okay, so pirate volcano. When the Empire ruled the land, before the frozen continent began to melt, there lived fierce Vikings. They guard the fragment of ice. Okay, so that'll be a new area. Far to the southwest lies an island, and on this island is a timeless forest. And deep within that forest, you'll find a fragment of nature. Okay, another new area. Earth. Demons locked a fragment away in their sacred the most sacred temple. But its location was lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great War. Okay, so we'll have to ask them about that before the Great War. In the Fragment of Time, there is said to be a special Magilith in Windy Valley. It supposedly grants access to the Fragment of Time, the one most shrouded in mystery. Okay... To locate the fragments, you'll have to travel through time. Use the controller I gave you on a Magilith. I wish I could join you, but I must return to me if you seek to know more about the fragments. There is some. There is definitely something more going on with you. <laughs> Come on, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> what? Uh. I think I know what we may run into. To the short of time, uh, no, short, short of uh, ice, frost. You no. mentioned Vikings. Yep. There's a very old Viking game from. Uh, I don't think many remember this, but it was a big hit uh, back then. Lost Vikings. Mm, yeah. I forget who made those. Blizzard. Okay. It was oh, yeah. very early day Blizzard, you know, before the chaos before. that is the them now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there should be... There should be a Magilith here, so we could use this to travel around some. This one might probably be our best way to just get to other times. Yeah, if the ladder weren't pulled out the way it seems. Hmm. Do we need to do this this again? What the heck are you on about?
Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> We've run into ourselves. I'm only theorizing, and it's equally possible we will end up in my era. Or that of Miss Fina and Solid Snail. But as Miss Fina would say, I fear we have no other uh, choice anyway. Exactly. Off we go, Goggles. We won't know till we get there. And I don't want to stick around in this future. Okay, now we're getting into our own timey-wimey uh, paradox bullshit. And oh. They disappeared. Why did I feel to leave with them? I don't wanna, what am I to do now? Okay, so can we, can we get him back now then? Oop. Activate that again. Possibly. Oh, he's going to be so confused. Yeah. Menos, am I glad to see you again? Salt Snail, Miss Fina, I thought you had vanished forever. That must mean the Majelis did not serve its purpose. Actually, it did. It worked just fine, but it's a long story. Where should I start? I'll just retell all of that. I can hardly believe it. My son, it, a terrorist? And the weapon. Loading. Yeah, I'm growing a bit unsure now about keeping the game like 4x3 like that, or to pull it to 16x9 since I managed to pull the yes, widen the game out finally. Hmm. But I mustn't worry so. Reno is no longer a child in this era, so he surely must have fled before the explosion. Perhaps I shall, uh, yeah, perhaps I shall see him again. I too was rather surprised to see them materialize, materialize out of nowhere. And when he told me everything, I had trouble believing it as well. Who would believe someone claiming to be from the future? I wasn't truly convinced until after speaking with Sarahs. Okay, so you went along for quite a while, <laughs> still questioning that. Sarahs, can we trust her? She saved us from the weapons explosion. And she told us how to collect the shattered pieces of the Magi Key. I'm well aware of that, Miss Fina, and she has my deepest gratitude. Without her, I would never have seen you two again. But my father always told me that everything comes at a price. Why exactly did she come to your aid? That much I would like to know. In any case, her knowledge about the Magi can't be questioned. The sparse descriptions of the Magi key I studied confirm her explanation. That changes nothing for my son. On the contrary, if we wipe the weapon from the timeline, Rina will never have thought to try activating it. A sizable chunk of history will be rewritten. To be perfectly honest, the very thought of it frightens me. How can we be sure there won't be unintended consequences? Yeah, butterfly effect and all that. But I'm not going, I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. There's always a risk no matter what you do in life. And frankly, it, it can't get much worse than this. Oh, you say so, but... Uh... <laughs> I agree with Miss Fina. Regardless of what we change, the situation can only improve for me. For us, definitely. Perhaps not for everyone else, but then I suppose it is worth a shot. I really hope we're doing the right thing, Goggles. Quick, let's bring the pieces of the Magic Key to Sarahs. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased to be helping you once again, so let's know. You okay there? Uh, yesterday, they lost my water, and apparently it's been so warm enough that it's no longer cold, I just taste... Blah. Did that make sense? Okay. Like uh, how water can sometimes get when it's... 
been uh, in a warm room for a while, it it doesn't no longer taste fresh. Yeah. Especially when you try to drink to cleanse your camp palate, it just feels weird. Okay, so yeah, we're just testing out how uh, if we could go between specific points in time or just cycles through all the available ones. Which, well, we have three errors at the moment. Nine, nine, nine. Uh, oh no! Wait. Uh, nine hundred and forty-nine, nine hundred and ninety-nine, and nine uh, a thousand forty-nine. So let's just start from as early as we can and start looking around. Let's see. The pirates were stationed on islands with a volcano, and this one obviously doesn't have that. So we'll have to keep looking around. That's just a stone. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, now the question is, are we getting close to the end or not for... I have so many mixed signals uh, from the cutscene. It makes me wonder, are we getting close to the end or are we... Is it like, is it like we're getting close to the end or starting at the beginning? With this like a damn thing that's said at the cutscene. Mr. Roberts, I presume? In the flesh. But you don't look like young souls thirsty for adventure. You look like you're living your own epic tale already. Make the most of it. Life is full of challenges for those who, uh, seek them out, who can seek them out. Some adventures, uh, adventures can be rather painful. Or, yeah, adventure. Yeah. Take a lesson from my many years. The road may be full of peril, but the adventures along the way are worth your misery. Speaking of, would you like to aid me in my next adventure? Uh, sure. You see, as it turns out, how should I put it, it's still all so new to me. But here goes. <laughs> I'm in love. These things happen. So, who's the lucky girl? She's... She's wonderful. She's amazing. She's strong and vulnerable. How could a woman like her love someone like me? Indeed, if you look at the statistics, not the oh. time. I am not well versed in love. But perhaps a good start would be to compose a letter. My father never failed to send one off for engaging in thorny negotiations. It's one way to think of it. A, a letter? Yes, of course. That's a splendid idea. Just a moment, please. Fifteen hours later. Wait. Starting your son. He's not developed in love, Menos, but he has a son. Hmm. We'll see about that if we ever meet his wife, I guess. There you are. You got a love letter to the uh, to the one who boarded my heart and. <laughs> of course, thank you. If he does embrace my love, then it's decided. I shall retire, and you will get my most prized treasures. Don't bother trying to find my stash. The spot's so well hidden, I alone know where it is. I will eagerly await her response to my letter. You'll recognize her easily. She is the most stunning, remarkable woman on the continent. Where does this have to be so complicated? It's such a huge story, don't you think, Goggles? Negotiations seem to be proceeding well. If both parties demonstrate good faith, it should result in a mutually beneficial agreement. Oh, they have a... They view matters in a very different way, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Noobs, ain't ya? <laughs> Better watch it or I swear I'll rage quit this crew. Uh, yeah, woo. <laughs> it's so freaking cool being a pirate. Every day I thank the Caesar I followed Mr. Roberts. But lately he has he has a worried vibe about him. I mean he's half good. Okay. These uh, pirates aren't much on the dread side, it seems. Now then. On the... Wait. He became the Oh no. 
Okay, we can land here even though no, there's a he's, camp. He's gonna get heartbroken and become a terrible pirate, ain't he? Could be. Let's see, there's the volcano. But there is no by, uh, nowhere to land. In another time, there was uh, the pirate ship guarding it. But they said they would only take challenges from other pirates, I believe. So I guess we have to do something to be recognized as pirates. Hmm. Okay, there's a bit of land over there. What is this? Is this the home lands of the demons? Oop, Magi Ruins. Yeah, this place totally doesn't look diseased and everything. Okay, we can swap between eras here. Is there anything where else we can go here right now? Oop. What is the meaning of this? Hello, Dalkin. You sound surprised, Colonel. Um, surprised? Coming from you, mages, it's no surprise. But you? How could you? Honestly, Colonel, come now. Try not to frighten my lieutenants. I'll soon have need of them. Your lieutenants? They belong to the Empire. Okay, what is the Walnut Mage up to now? Time's changed, Colonel. You see, I long served your great Emperor, but no more. Now I shall have my turn on the throne. I've decided to establish my own Empire right here. You're a madman. All you have are a few dozen soldiers. In just a few months, the real Emperor will be here with his army. You won't stand a chance against him. Do not worry too much for my sake, Colonel. In that time, I will have conquered Demonia and wiped out the last of the demons, and my army will rival that of the Emperor. Yes, someone is delusional, but how? I shan't reveal all my secrets, Colonel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a continent to conquer. Traitor! And poof. <laughs> Okay, I have to stop them. Sword Snail, we must act quickly. Demonia has yet to fall, and I can still aid my people. <laughs> Hello, Glacier Boy. Hello, Glacier Boy, and yeah, I think you worked here on someone who may not understand. Like. If it plans to wipe out the demons... Who are each stronger than a normal person each. Yeah, no, look. Like, he wants to do an empire, so that idea is outright idiotic, but that means... Well, less troops, less people to populate your empire and all that. I know you. You fled the Colosseum. What did you go by? All right. So it's snail, wasn't it? What are you doing out here? Yeah, I see. Naturally, if you're with the Demonian Prince, where else would you go? Let us through. I'm sorry, but there's no use fighting them. You would need an army to reach Demonia. Even I'm powerless for the time being. There's one possibility. We could team up with the Empire. Never <laughs> make a pact with Demonia, that's ludicrous. There's no other way. If we don't stop mages, the fighting will only get worse. Tens of thousands will die. That's what I learned in school anyway. We have to stop mages before he makes it to Demonia. Joining forces is the only way to do that. It is imperative we reach Demonia before time runs out. And if to that end, I must ally with the Empire, for a short while at least, so be it. Belkin? It's not possible. I can't. My orders. We are at war with Demonia. Maybe, but it's Magus who started this war. Hoping to seize Demonia and keep it for himself. 
And knowing that, you still want to follow orders? You ought, you, know, you ought to know to bend the rules when it's for, uh, for the good of the Empire. I... I can't. Can't go against orders. Well, Gongles, it seems it won't be easy to persuade Dalkin. In my time period, he's known for having led the army that fought mages. The battle turned into a real bloodbath, and thousands, die and thousands died on both sides. That's why he's been dubbed Dulkin the Reds. After his victory, if you can call it that, he left the military. He's likely still alive in my time. Makes me wonder where he would be now. You must convince him to allow us passage. I must come to my people's aid. Why won't he accept our help? It's the best option there is. Yeah, because he's honor bound. I am guessing what we have to do here is to go to the um, <clears throat> emperor. Yeah. yeah, not to the emperor, but go to his future self, and then uh, get him to write a letter to get <laughs> to convince his previous self to uh, yeah change his mind. Okay, that's one complicated way to do it. <clears throat> Okay, but now yeah, how but is this place in this time? They did say something concerning. I feel like he should have joined them. If there was the Magus who started the war, secretly order to take control of this, that means there was no reason for the war to start with, to begin with. Yeah. Let's see. That area of north looks like it's going to have something. And oh, no. ruins of Demonia. I have flashbacks from Owl House. <laughs> Demonia, utterly and completely destroyed. It it is unbearable. I don't wish to see that. Yep. And he takes off. I'm going to speak to him. We should probably leave him alone. Okay, so just the two of us for now. Can there be no hope for a better world? All of life's pleasure is gone forever. At the hour of the last sunset, I shall think of you, Demonia. Before the war, Demonia was a wonderful city, a good place to live. Now see what's left of it. It's all because of you humans. But what's the use in fighting you? You won, it's over. Yeah, and still we can challenge them to a card game. Okay, you may break their spirit to live, but apparently you can't beat, <laughs> you can't kill their uh, <laughs> competitive nature. Demons live much longer than humans, but there are simply too few of us now. Without a hundred year, within a hundred years, demons will be extinct, and that's why you humans, well, what you humans wanted, isn't it? Not all humans. Uh, humans. From Tagak at the Lost Tree, demons have you? Or maybe you'd like to capture us and make us slave away in your mind? Okay, that's all there is here. Let us leave this place. Melos. Looks like their chat did not go too well, then. <clears throat> now, let's have a look at this place in the latest era that we can go to. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to shortcut things to uh, era 1, 2, and 3. And, of course, in ascending order. So, we are now heading to era 3. Or the third era. <laughs> to call it less uh, mechanically. Okay. Still just a lot of open air in that area. And now we can't even enter here. Okay. Hmm. Can we, as we can, take off into the waters here? No. 
Yeah, we're going to have to look around a lot now to find the pieces that we need. So let's... Okay, we can't go any further that way. Oh, dear. I sort of feel like we may need a guide for this game. Oh, hell. Hello, what the hell is that? Um, yeah, that, that's the whole thing with this game, Glacier Boy. It's, it's a more evolved version of a love letter to the development of gaming. Is that a sea serpent? So, yeah, we're, we're jumping between eras of uh, yeah, technology. From 8-bit uh, to 16-bit to 3D. Sylph for... Oh, oh, this must be that ageless forest. So are we back in the present? Oh, well. Okay. It can't be. We didn't activate a megalith. I... I touched nothing. Some claim that the Sylph forest is located outside the boundaries of time. This must be what they mean. This is a really strange place. Don't you think, Goggles? Yeah. Hello. Welcome to the Soul Forest. All time streams converge here to form an infinity of nows. It is a marvelous gift from nature that we are able to spend eternal life in a single instant, over and over, without end. Oh, my mm -hmm. ears! Not from you, do. Someone outside is drumming with. I only hear the bass, nothing else. Okay. You don't think so? Well, there is at least one uh, mask villain from the cartoon who would very, very, very much disagree because they got stuck in a time loop of like three seconds of getting their head smashed in with a grandfather's clock. Ow. Did you also come here to find your destiny? Just like the other heroes who seek our Oracle's wisdom, I suppose. Okay. How it's you? Have you not been here uh, once before? Or perhaps you are not here yet? I met us little in this place. Yeah, it can get really trippy. My neighbor Totoro? <laughs> okay. Oh, because uh, from Glashboard, you poor fiend right here. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> he, he has come from far and wide to have our Oracle reveal their next quest. As she knows all of the past and future, she alone can answer their questions. We are, we, we are at the confluence of time strings, so they sometimes wait years to have their fate revealed. Their fans must be anxiously awaiting their return. Uh, let's see, we have Sora, we have Bomberman, we have Link, we have uh, Street Fighter, I don't actually know their name, and we have Mario. Ryu? I think that's, that might be Ryu. <laughs> Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Uh, I can't get that song out of my head. Okay, so he's the Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3? Wait, did I not release... I need to check the, the release dates because I'm... I'm pretty sure... I think... Okay, I'm going to look this up right now because I... Either this game is a lot more early than I... A lot more recent than I thought... Or they made a prediction that it got right. Uh, let's see. Or oh, they added it after, uh, be before releasing it. Let's see. Evo Lands 2, 2015. Evo Land Legendary Edition. Um, 2019. Uh, 2019, and I could have added that in. Kingdom. Hearts 3 2019 Okay So they That's a shot that it in them Yeah, or they just guessed But, yeah Let's see. Where are my bombs? I know I had them a second ago You, you might want to check with a certain <laughs> demon girl I just, I just realized The damn song was out already before uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, probably. Yeah, from Frozen. So I'm, I'm guessing they just made a... They could have made a get. Actually, when did Frozen release? Might as I well check they, that. 
I guess they use put oh you can put it here for everyone to be hearing that song non-stop. And people will get annoyed by it. Okay, 2013. Oh, it's actually 10 years ago now. But I, I, e either they put it in if this re if the legendary edition released after uh, after Kingdom Hearts 3, or they made a guess that it would appear in Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh... <laughs> either way, if you meet a chatty fairy, just run the other way. This time I'm totally gonna crush that stuck-up blonde dude. I really hope she's not going to get kidnapped again. <laughs> Video game's Hall of Fame. Uh, I, I think I might unstretch the game since... Yeah, I, it's just really odd that it... Hmm. I, let me actually see how much this affects if I... Do this to move it more to a four by three. Uh, this one, Glaze Boy. Good God, that made me feel old ten years ago. Yeah, it made me also mm. feel old. Hmm. I, I think I'm. I am going to actually change it to full screen. Uh, let's see. Game capture. Evo Land. Just. Pull that out of the group. Then I copy over the 6x9 form. And paste it on there. Doesn't look too much different. But Looks good yeah, to me. Yeah, if I'd figured out that I could still resize the screen afterwards, I'd need to. It's poking me in the shoulder. So there. And now I just need to turn those off. There we go. Yeah, it, it, with the the Steam text get a sheet looking pressed, uh, compressed. Yeah. Uh, we can just skip the line apparently. Welcome, heroes of this world. I am no hero. I only wish for my son. I know, Menos. The currents of time keep no secrets from ourselves. All events occur here, uh, time and again, ad infinitum. But... That means everything is already written. Everything we do is meaningless and pointless. Quite the opposite, Fina. The choices you make shape your destiny. And conversely, fate molds your choices. Only a few possess absolute freedom and the ability to change everything. <laughs> they should have had Raziel in line here as well, then. You're talking about goggles, aren't you? Yes, goggles is one of those few. His past, present, and future choices may change everything or nothing. Does that mean he can save my parents and village? And that I might aid my son before it is too late? Yes, perhaps. And much more still. But you must first gather the five fragments of the Magi Key. Is that not why you are here? I have a question for you, Oracle. Ask away, Velvet. Isn't it risky to use the Magi Key? It could very well destroy more than it could save. It, yeah, it would save. The sheer impact of such an event on space-time. I cannot answer your question, Velvet. That is one you humans must tackle. The sylphs, past and present, are without meaning, as are cause and effect. There is no yesterday or tomorrow, only the eternal now. In this now, you are at once here and not here. You are saying that what we see as before and after to you, it is an entirety? Precisely, Menos. That is why we cannot judge things as good or bad. They are simply parts of the same whole, so, who, so why would one try to differentiate between them? I'm not sure I understand everything, but I do agree every, nothing is ever entirely black or white. Take Reno, for instance. He wanted to kill a lot of humans, and in a way, he succeeded, because without him we wouldn't have reached a weapon. But if it had been me, and the Empire killed my family, wouldn't I have done the same thing? 
I'd like to think I wouldn't, but I can't ever be sure of that. Yep. You won't. You can't know what you would do when put on the edge until you would, well, get put there. Yeah. I suppose at times we can only judge our actions after the facts. Oracle, can you give us the magic key fragment? Loading. Had it been I, had it been in my possession, I would have gladly given it to you. But the Magi entrusted it to the guardian of our sacred grove. Long has the guardian watched over the grove, but his strength has withered away. He was eventually corrupted by the evil spirits of the forest. This sadistas. <laughs> okay. <coughs> On, on the nose much. I don't think he can hear you in his current state. And keep in mind that different eras tend to merge in the sacred grove, so we are air not to wander too much. Is there no way to help the Guardian? Maybe we could get rid of those sadistites? Yeah, sadistas? It won't be an easy task, but perhaps with a Sylph's Tear? Sylph's Tear? Such a thing does not really exist, as we Sylphs have neither past nor future. We have no sadness, no regrets, and therefore no reason to shed tears. And yet I feel certain you will become, uh, you will come by a Sylph's tear. How can that be? Go see Finrella at the grove's entrance. She can surely help you. Another challenge to overcome, Goggles. Sounds dangerous. Oh, but maybe there will be some major ruins to excavate. I've always taken to walks in the forest. <laughs> uh, Menos. Simple, but certain. Your final choice draws near, Goggles. Hmm. Okay, how are we to get a Sylph to cry, then? By introducing them to the concept of time actually flowing? We wish to enter the sacred grove? I'm afraid that is impossible for mere humans. But wait. You there. You are not entirely human. Who, me? What are you trying to say? I can hardly believe it, but you have silk blood in you. But then you must possess certain powers. Did you never wonder why? Okay. Me? A sylph? No, you are not a sylph yourself. But you must have one in your family. Someone in my family? Yes, and to enter the sacred grove, you shall have to find them. But that's impossible. My family... My whole village is... Think, there must be a member of this girl's family somewhere. You must find this sylph and retrieve one of her tears to enter the uh, sacred grove. Okay, uh, that is a... Oh. <laughs> that was unexpected. Also okay, you could have uh, first, first would be able to make uh, her cry. Yeah, <laughs> which would have been a bit easier, but nope. A bit mean. All right then. So, yeah, we need to go back in time for that. So let's head back up. Yeah, but I, didn't we investigate how long this game was? Uh, I think we did take a look, but I forget how long it was said to be, but it, that, it is uncertain if that is with a guide or such. It might have been with a guide and speed run or something. Hmm. But we have been on a few areas gotten stuck, but I don't think we got stuck that aggressively. Yeah, and there's more my neighbor Totoro. <laughs> oh, okay. God. No. Oh, yeah, I start to wonder if we do need a guide. Hmm. Yeah, we could put up more Evo Land on early Sundays if we're going to be a bit 50 50 with if we do Showcase Sunday or something else. Yeah, for. We need, we need to give this game a little bit more time so we can uh, actually finish it. That's, that's definitely some sort of serpent. Like, I, I'm happy to get David Dive. It takes a bit longer time, but it is good. But this has more I annoying mean, parts as well. Yeah, but this game... Mm, it would be a bit fun to actually start able to continue under games as well. 
Well, what do you know? We don't get many visitors around here. You're trying to escape the war, right? Yes. You've got nothing to fear here. We're far from all the mayhem. Anyway, that's where they decided to stick around. Oddly, he kind of reminds me of my dad. <laughs> of course! You are Finrod. Father to Finrost. You're my grandfather. The founder of Nibiru Village. You're very sweet, little lady, but I have no son and I certainly am certainly too young to be your grandfather. It's true I've decided to establish a village here, but I haven't settled on a name yet. Now that you mention it, Nibiru is a lovely name. Yes, perhaps I should call her that. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and now we have started a predestination paradox, I think, because now the original origin of the name is unknown. It's, it's Now it's a circle. <laughs> No, wait. Soon, a few years from now, you're going to meet someone, a sylph. And together you'll have a son who's my dad. Young man, I believe your friend here has banged her head. <laughs> Listen to me. You have to believe me, it's gonna happen. So I'm begging you, ask the sylph to wait for us here in the year uh, 1000. Wait, no, not here. Everything will have been destroyed by the weapon. On the bluff, where there's, always, there's a statue of the Emperor after he's won the war. You have to promise. Yes, yes, if it makes you happy, I promise. If you ask me, young man, your friend could use some rest. <laughs> uh, he, he's probably... Uh, that's probably one of the most realistic reactions I've seen to someone claiming to be from the future and such. <laughs> yeah... Let's see, Glacier Boy, hybrid tears don't count. I smell some supremacy behavior among the sylphs. Now, it's more that, uh, let's see. Uh, if Finrod here meets the sylph, and her father is half sylph, then Fina is quarter sylph. So the bloodline is too diluted, I'd say more. Okay then, Goggles. I guess that's all, all that's left is to head out. Okay. <laughs> that's one step. Easily finished. And yeah, we haven't been here since like the first stream, I think. I can say, I think one of the reasons I'm not feeling too, like I know the game, but it's not as much as due to the whole time trouble thing that it has going on for. It's one of those things that is already hit and miss in gaming and movies. Yeah, but I'd say it is, I'd say this is you know, taking a good angle on it. Yeah, but it still has me nervous for. It, it can easily, like, there's, yeah, I think you can agree, it can easily, with one step, uh, collapse. Hmm. Yeah, if they manage to mess something up real bad. Uh, this can be surprisingly easy for... People think time travel stories are easy. No. It's not. Yeah, they need to be it's really well thought out. Hard. Yeah, and some pe movies have, so people notice this, have you sometimes time travel to as a cheap way out of fixing something? Yeah. Because it usually it doesn't go well, for they usually don't understand how to do it properly to begin with. Yes. And that's been done so many times that even I get nervous whenever I see a time travel in games or movies. Probably why I'm nervous of this game now. <laughs> Let's see, I'm just going to check around everywhere to see if there's stuff we can do. And this place is locked up. Pretty sure you shouldn't tell your ancestors such, thing, such, such things. I agree. Yeah, he, he is going to get re really weirded out <laughs> in a couple of years. Hmm. Okay, there's a portal. Okay, there's just... A I'm guessing this portal is just in every era now, so that uh, we can easily return to Sarah's. Ooh. And the smithy. We can talk to him again! We can finally get the super armor! What did I do with the accent there? <laughs> yes, yes. We dug up some Oregon? Thank you, Lenny. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the swords. Yeah. To make that you four, yep, 
Here you go. What about the heads of sword? Uh, I don't think we've made any of these before. Uh, and it's complete. Yeah. You got an Oricon sword, the ultimate sword. You won't find a sharper blade. Many fine work ever do same as well myself. Please come back and see me if you have other items that need forging. Uh, we, we were using a steel sword. Yes, yes, shut up. And take my ore. Okay, yeah, now that it's, it's been scratched off now. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, let's see, armor, five pieces. Uh. Yes, yes, shut up. Hmm. Okay, let's go with that. And then we can save up any other ore that we find for the armor. There we go. A very stunning ultimate belt. Gorgeously decorated. Okay. That should make combat a bit easier for us. Hopefully. Okay. Oricon. Now then. Oricon, it sounds like a... Mangl mangled version of the word Oricalcum. Could be. Yes. Uh, Shorten and simplified. And I think we might have just changed time by smashing the boulder in the first era, so it won't be there in the second or third era. Uh, okay. Hmm? Okay, for some reason the game got unselected. Oh, yeah, I thought won. there was going to be a cutscene. Same. Seeing as there wasn't, I'm going to presume that there's not going to be anything new there. Oh yeah, now I know what kind of music it was there for. I was, did not have music during that uh, part. Yeah, for yeah, some that, reason. That dream. Yeah, very uh, Metroidvania. Or Calcivana. Would you happen to know anything about the dreaded pirate Roberts? The Empire is currently tied up with the war against the demons, but sooner or later we'll catch him and he'll pay for his misdeeds. Okay, so he's already considered the dread pirate, even though he doesn't seem to be that good at pirating. Hmm. I have a feeling it's gonna be due to he get got declined or something. I dream that one day my Prince Charming will take me away on a beautiful white steed. Yeah. Um, could you be him? That look on her face, I don't think Goggles is the one. Could it be that... Oh! You have a letter for me? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Let me read it. This is the most beautiful... Okay, <laughs> to each their own. The answer is yes. I've always admired you so, my lovely... <laughs> my, my lovely pirate Roberts. And yet I didn't think you would be so young. Uh, <laughs> with your vibrant hair and glasses on your forehead. You are exactly my type. No, wrong one. <laughs> what? I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Here, Mr. Roberts, this will prove my love for you. You got Tinder profile. Find your one true love. How <laughs> romantic. I suppose that'll do the trick. Let's go back and see the old pirate. I'm going to tell all my girlfriends that the Pirate Roberts is a handsome young man with a dazzling head of hair. <laughs> and I think we might have just changed history again. <sighs> oh no. This totally can't so end worse badly. worse than I expected. <laughs> like, the only one mm. I could see we would not be a good reason when we would be, become a villain, but it's a Pokemon reason, but this... This... Yeah. Uh, it, it feels a bit cringe. Oh, you managed to find her Tinder profile? That's fantastic! I'm totally gonna right swipe her. That was a mention of a reward. Yes, absolutely. My greatest treasures. Now that I'll be retiring with my beloved, I won't need them. 
Shouldn't be any trouble, really. I buried this stuff in a secure location. It's, uh... I can't remember. <laughs> it's so secure, even he can't find it. Are you joking? No, I'm not. I seriously can't remember why I buried my treasure. For months, I've thought of nothing else but my love. And I plumb forgot. But it matters not. I promised you a reward, so I'll grant you what's left of my most prized possessions. Well, at least we didn't do all this for nothing. Uh, of course. A genuine pirate robber's pirate flag woven with actual beard hair. <laughs> uh, take care of it. Make sure the name of Pirate Roberts is still feared in a hundred years. Think this will come in handy, Goggles? Yeah, with those pirates in the second era. I sure hope so too. Nothing else, we help bring lot two lovebirds together. As for my treasure, I'll be informing the other pirates that whoever finds it is to become the new Pirate King. That should certainly generate interest in the field. One piece. Good gods. I guess yeah. I think the one piece you can, can you, I will not be surprised if they did add, uh, let it go and put it on the Kingdom Hawker character just because they knew it's Disney and it would be best place to put it. And they probably knew that some would read it in cringe. Okay. Uh. Yeah, with that pirate flag, we should be able to deal... Hello. How did you get here? You're not pirates, I hope. They occupied this island until recently, but they were run out by something or someone. They went to hide out in their lair to the east. Okay. Now that we have that flag, we can probably take on those pirates. Brought two lovebirds together is catfished her. I guess both sides, both sides are getting catfished because that I'm pretty sure that Tinder profile was completely all wrong. Uh, the pirates have been less active of late. It's only a bit of good news since the great disaster. Would you like to set sail? Yes. Okay, a little animation added. But yeah, now there's a big fucking hole right there. <laughs> and the rock is floating in the middle. Okay. You're gonna be missing something here. We gotta be pretty brave to assault our lair. But I'm afraid we only accept challenges from other pirates. Oh, you've got a pirate flag? It can be. That's the flag of the legendary Pirate Roberts. So you've come to challenge us, is that it? Yes. In that case, you'll have to beat every single one of us in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Best of luck to you. <laughs> I was more expecting them to just take off. Or we can just slip by. Oh, oh come on. Uh... Solid Snail, if I am chosen to fight, far too many pirates would meet an untimely end. Nevertheless, I shall come. I will show you some of the special moves taught to me by my father. He is going to be a side-scrolling brawler. You dare challenge us? The pirates of the bay who won't be defeated so easily. Yep, beat them all modes. Oh, I think I get ready. It's a reference to Pirate Bay. Oh, if you jump, you can find a sword. Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. While Pepe did a lot of illegal things, many got a very old game, functional old game from there as well. Yeah. Most because the remakes back then was really common, it was actually extremely rare. And emulating either. So I like the music. Also, is that supposed to be a, a pirate flag of Minnie Mouse or something with that bow? I'm bloody unsure. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a, a skull or a panda. 
After a jump, jump again to perform apricots. Uh, that's what I'm doing. It's not doing it. It's automatically going into the... Oh, it's B. Or is... How do, am I pulling that one off? Yep, I, I can't tell how I'm pulling that one off, really. Either my timing with the jump is off. Does he have I haven't heard about Tyrus but in ages. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it got taken down at some point or another. You mean they finally did it? The top of your jump, uh, jump once more to execute a spin attack. Is that what I've actually been doing? No, that's what it. Okay. I've taught you everything I know. One last thing. If you really need help, you can call me by focusing. But don't talk to anyone about it. <laughs> uh, I was young, it was many attempts to take it down. So yeah. I guess they. Hello, Bruce Lee. In them. Bruce Lee's. Yeah. If Bruce Lee were a landlord, Bruce Lee's. Oof, okay, it got taken down a few years ago, apparently. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I think I said this just so before, but I do like this music. And okay, these are so from a. Uh, from King of Fighters or something? Uh, Street Fighters. A purple version of Sankov uh, or something? Yeah, I don't know yeah, enough Russian about game. fighting games, but the, I, these, I think these are from a side scroll brawler, so not Street Fighter. So not King of Fighters either. Streets of Rage? Double Dragon, maybe? Another level. I thought we were done, but no, it's level up. Six extra health. That's going to be useful. Nope. I'm this way. Okay. Throw the thingies. Okay. Kick the Okay, I'm not sure how that connects. Oh, they really shades. Okay, okay, they're not Shanko, where his name was. Uh, these are based on some character from one of those side scroll brawlers, not a fighting game. Okay. I guess that we must end them. Yep, <laughs> Just kick all of them off screen. <laughs> okay, if I ever have theme music made from a commission or something, I'm going to put this song in as a reference. I can see why. <laughs> Hello. Is that supposed to be? To be I have no fruit? idea. I have no idea who this may be a reference to. 
Yeah, I'm just seeing a see with big hesitation, Paul Alfred. With, again, big hesitation. I have no idea who that character might be. Really? Yeah, what, what was the Sailor. name of the Sailor Load Spinach. No, Popeye. Uh, why is this called Popeye in English? They're okay, then, call the, then, this, here. then this crowned up face makes sense, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I forget his name is Popeye in English. So you used to be people just saying call Alfred. So in Sweden, Popeye has the same name as Bruce Wayne's butler, huh? Just kick him in the back of the head. I did not know that! I knew it was Alfred, but I did not know he was also called... Uh, uh, called Alfred. So I guess there's a reason for... Top I might translate poorly in East Swedish. Maybe. Um, yeah, like a puppet eye. Some puppet uh, eye, yeah. This will, yeah, that, that wouldn't work. Yep. 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 Completely miss. Yep. Yep. Okay, how many more of these are there? This is probably one of the other things I... Uh, that was Have it. A little... Okay, that did not overstate. Welcome. Behold what we came here to find. The Fragment of Fire. Who? Who dares oppose us? <laughs> we are the fearless pirates of the bay. Wait, didn't we scare you a lot off before? Claims to ownership crumble at our feet. What's yours is ours. Anybody know where Kenny is? <laughs> we, we scared you guys off earlier. Uh, actually, I th I think we this have is... a case here again where... Yeah, these were the pirates that we scared off from the other place. But they mistook us for Pirate Roberts because of what we were going to do in the past. Where the description of us would get passed around as Pirate Roberts. <laughs> yeah, I just realized now with the name and what they just said... This place is a reference to Pirate Bay. <laughs> oh, how is Kenny relying, connected to that? The only Kenny I know no, is from yeah, South Park. More of everything else they said uh, is connected with the... Uh, but people did see, sometimes see Pirate Bay as someone who stole other uh, things without uh, for, uh, giving them out for free. Mm. I think I'm going to go more with just... It being a generic name and not an actual reference or anything. Let's see. He had an accident. Again? Okay, Wedge, we finish it off. You finish it off. And all that chats. The ghost of Pirate Roberts. He came to get his treasure back. You fool. That's not Pirate Roberts' treasure. It's just a major what's it the boss said we couldn't mess with. I think Biggs is right. Wait, Wedge and Biggs? Those are two... <laughs> those are two Star Wars characters. If that was Roberts' famed treasure hoard, the boss would need Pirate King. I bet it's just a pirate dressing up like Roberts. That's what I said. But nobody ever listens to me. So what's the plan, Biggs? The boss is still in the bathroom and he hates being bothered while in there. And yet I warned him that fish looked fishy. <laughs> but the boss doesn't listen to me either. Motion to hold a meeting on the topic of our next move. Motion accepted. And off they go. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Captain Ababab. What's going on here? Also, where did you come from? But <laughs> a prodigious, <laughs> prodigious mustache. You've come to challenge me, have you? Feel like I've got a few debuffs stacked on me. But there's no way I'm letting you take that major what's it. 
So that snail, that foe, seems to be mightier than the others. Be on your guard. He said reference to someone. Yep. Yep. I believe he... Yeah, I'm... this is definitely one of the Street Fighter characters, I think. Or maybe... Uh... Actually, no, I think he's from Punch-Out! <laughs> Uh, Soda Popinski or something? Yep. Maybe. Or mi maybe it could be a hybridization. Nope. Okay, he, he's pretty hard. Ow. Okay. Was it Bald Bull? Yeah, I think Bald Bull was the original name, and they gave him a... called him Soda Popinski uh, in uh, the original American version or something. Yeah, Bald Bull uh, sounds better than Soda Popskinski. Okay. Yeah, I see the main strategy here. We let him charge, like a bull. And then we attack. We don't try to take him on head-on. Because, well, bulls take a bull by the horn, you get the horns. Or something like that. I've I think I mixed up two things there. I gra grabbing the bull by the horns yep. is a phrase. Yeah, you know, mess with the bull, you get the horns. That's the phrase, I think. Oh, oh yeah, that is also a phrase. Yep, and game over. Okay. I should probably use one of the healing stuff we have. If it gets to that. Okay, skipping all of the extra. If he jumps back, he's going to charge. Or not. Yeah, that's a full 12 damage. sure this game is going to have a whole page on just all the references and I'm pretty sure we've probably missed a good few eat as well I feel, I feel like this entire game gonna have a, probably almost a Wikipedia of references <laughs> oh, damn it okay uh, no we don't Yes. Maybe a bit of a cheat, but we've got plenty of goop to make new potions. I can't say if Ababa might be a, a reference to something. Maybe, maybe Abibaba or something, but that's more thieves than pirates. Yeah. I was thinking of Alibaba, but... Honestly, like, about the 70 pirates? Like a parody version? Okay, two more and we should be done. 
There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, for a moment I thought it was going to explode. One of the five pieces of the Magi Key. Okay, now the island is going to explode. The volcano is beginning to erupt. Quickly, Silent Snail. We must flee now. Okay. An escape sequence in a side scroll brawler? In a 2D brawler? Uh, what you call run? Okay, this feels. Uh, really? Get out of the way, Popeye. Come on. Yeah, escape sequences are a stable, a sta a staple in uh, Metroid uh, games. So, <laughs> getting it mi oh, come on, getting it mixed in with a brawler like this, that's new. Yeah, at least we, we, at least we have to fight a lot less of them. Okay. Here comes the chain gang. There. Get a boot to the head. We're gonna be. Oh, never mind. Okay. But this is just perfect pirate brawl music, isn't it? Yeah, the music is grand. The Ty Lee's again, or not Ty Lee's, Bruce Lee's. Where did I get Ty Lee from? Avatar or Is something? Anyone call that? Maybe a, maybe an Avatar character. Or there's a Mai. There's. Hmm. I have no idea where I got Ty Lee from. I know there's a Bruce Lee reference in Naruto. A character is a reference to him. At least yeah. I forgot his name though. I don't know if he shared the same last name. That was the was other Rock Lee? <laughs> Yeah, Rock Lee. Okay. 21, some extra damage, okay. I only know this because it was mentioned in one of those uh, Shogun Yump uh, mangas I have uh, as a. Uh, well, those are trivia things. Okay. The only reason I remember it. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Quickly, goggles. What happened? We have to reach the sea. The volcano could destroy everything. See what happens when you leave men in... Ch oh, shut up, Velvet. And here I was expecting heaps of praise for a successful combat. Let's just get the hell out. And that's the second region we've destroyed. <laughs> We're helping. The island's been completely destroyed. I almost feel sorry for those poor pirates. We're lucky we got the Magi Key Fragment in time. <laughs> Triple Dragon, you've escaped the pirate's lair. Okay, so many references that might have been from uh, Double Dragon. Yeah. Was there a Triple Dragon game? Not sure. I do think so. Hmm. Either way, though, we have one key. So, four to go. Let's see, we need to go to the frozen continent. And actually, I think if we go to the cliff up in this time, up here, we should meet, we should be able to meet that sylph. Oop, oh, yeah. Hello. Hey. If you give me 50 G, I'll tell you where to find a treasure around here. What do you say? Uh, we have plenty of gold, so worth a shot even if you are a scam. Nice. All right, listen up. To find a treasure, you've got to pour something. What something? Like if I know. Okay, you're <laughs> useless. Let's see then. Hmm. 
Yar, if we can't practice the noble trade of piracy, what'll become of us? Hmm. I'm guessing whatever we need to push will stand out. It's a disaster. The volcano on our island erupted. Luckily for us, Yatai let us move in. And this explains how all of these were here later on. Yeah. And uh, it's not to suspect we need to be in another time period to go to the... But let's say that when the continent started to melt. Yeah, before it started to melt. Let's see. Ooh, hello. Yep. Grandma? Tina. You haven't changed a bit, my dear. But how? This is the first time... We already met once, when you came to Sil Forest. Such a long time ago. But I suppose for you, it was only yesterday. Quite literally. But I don't even remember... We only spoke briefly. At the time, I was but a young sylph among many others. But after seeing you humans with your boundless hopes and bubbling excitement, I wanted to explore the world for myself. So I left the forest for good. Even though I knew my choice would mean a short-lived life. So that's how you met, fin met Finrod. Yes, my journey began with all the places I I'd only heard of. The world is so beautiful and fragile, no day like the one before. I had never felt so free. Yeah, that's one thing with eternal life in an eternal present. Uh, it's going to st be stagnant. Eventually, I met your grandfather, Finrod. He was quite shocked to meet a sylph, I should say. Many years later, as his last bit of strength faded, he remembered promising a slightly mad girl that I would meet her here. I've waited for you since that day. Oh, Grandma. I'm so sorry. All this time you were here, so close by. I regret nothing, Fina. True, my life was a short one, but I have felt more things within a few years than I did spending eternity in the forest. I'm only sad to leave this world behind. Not having been able to hold you, not having seen you grow up and be happy, not being able to help you in your adventures. Oh, Grandma, but you do help me. Every time I use my power to aid goggles, you're with me. Thank you. Thank you, my sweet Pina. Thank you, Granddaughter. Live each day like it's your last and treasure every moment because time will pass you by. I leave this to you as a farewell gift. And so comes an end to an endless. Grandma! Farewell. Death always makes you cry. Okay, that, that was a sweet little bit. Yeah. Hmm. And with the Magilis destroyed there, we can't travel back. Okay. Okay, I like this. Oh, we don't even have to enter? Okay, we can just pass through, but when I enter from the top, I get put at the entrance to the... Uh, I get put to the exit to the south, it seems. Or not... Okay, I, I guess it depends on specifically where you are in the hitbox. Okay, nice all the same. Uh, let's check out the mine in this time. Yes, yeah, nothing changed here. Oh, I think I know which time period we need to go to for the ice one. Yeah, the first one or the GBA one, which we don't have access to. First one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, let's have a look down here. Mammoths.
Okay, you're still working on your flying contraption. Hmm. And this is here now. Okay, you... You're ask, you want something from Pina. Yeah, we guardians were discovered by the Magi. They believe they were creators, but they merely found us. Uh, winds... I see you're wide awake, but did you bring me what I asked for? That's not it. Hmm. We still need to figure out... Pazu. Pazu. That sounds like a demon from... Babylon era, area or something. Maybe. Hmm. We'll have to find them in a previous in the in the previous era. For now, though, this is the only point where we can freely travel, since all the other magilists, well, we either don't know where they are or they've been destroyed. Can we actually go back there? Not that there can be much to find. Yeah, we can't even go back. Not for now, at least. Not for now. Okay. Mm, great. Actually, we don't need to travel through time to get to the Sylphs since they are stuck in time. So all we really need to do is just go get around. And sue them. Hmm. Is there a... There's no port there, but there is one up here. I'm still curious and worried about that giant sea serpent. Also, wait, in this era we needed to go look for Dolkin the Red. So, he's likely to be over here. Somewhere. Nope. Uh, it's the end of the world. Did you see that explosion? What a disaster. Yeah, they're all riled up now. Uh, very riled up, everyone. <laughs> uh, where could Dalkin be, then? I'm not going to talk with anything because they're all panicking now. My colleague took off running when this great disaster started. I think I might do the same, honestly. The Emperor can fend for himself, I'm sure. Hmm. The only one who seems to be keeping a cool head? Oh! Did you come for the great tournament of the Col Colosseum? Uh, no. That's what I thought. Nobody is that crazy. Okay. Uh, we know that Dolkin retired. So he's not going to be in the barracks, I think. Also, nice little detail. There's that window to the right, and there's a light stream to the right. Yeah, that is a nice detail. I feel that many games would forget that. Seems the place is locked in the... And <laughs> we can't even get in there. So where might Dulkin be, then? Also locked. I'm guessing everyone is just locking their doors. Wasn't really expecting to find him in the shop, but okay. Just to be certain. The pirates of the bay are attacking. <laughs> I'm sure they'll, you know, they'll use the sewers to invade the city. Uh, no, they're, they've become the pirates of the forests. They've become forest raiders. Closed. It came from the laboratory, didn't it? Who could have caused such a thing? My bad. What am I supposed to do? Stay at my post? Maybe run far, far away? This is why we don't allow Hillian to make toast. <laughs> my father locked himself in the house. We need to leave. How will I get him out of there? Who's my father? Oh, he was a colonel in the MP. Oh, hello. But I'd rather not talk about it. It's done. I'll sell this house as soon as <laughs> this quiets down. Okay, so we have to buy that house so we get the key, so we can travel back to here and enter to go have a chat with Dolkin. Okay. Don't tell me we... 
no, no, we have to be able to buy it. Yeah, in the future. I'd be angry if we somehow hmm. soft locked us out from finishing the game, for that would be a big thing against finishing it. Yeah, I doubt it is going to be like that. Congratulations. We have the fragment of fire. <clears throat> Who knows what will happen to those pilots? Maybe they'll find another place to live. I'd like to have a place I could call home. Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the mage IT. I, I kind of want to see if we can travel through time using this port or if it just it'll just spit us out in the same place. Uh. Yeah, I think it's going to put us back in the second era. Hmm. Would have been nice if we could just change time periods anywhere we wanted, but there would probably be some risk with that. Like, if we were in the uh, <laughs> the blast zone and we tried to swap. But at least this place is easy enough to reach most of the time. So yeah, we're starting to run a bit low on time. But I think we can get a chat with Dolkin at least. Also, let's do a save. So we traveled to the third era. And then we go to Genova, buy the house, go back in time to the second era. Actually, I, I noticed a small error. Uh, with the Magilist, it, it was said that uh, they, you can't travel back to before we, you were lost uh, there. But we got Menos because we ended up back there and uh, back in time before we were in the lost area. Yeah. So, minor oversight or just a small hand wave to, well, <laughs> not mess things up. Perhaps. I thought that that should, was to mention that earlier, but then I uh, got distracted. So I, it did bother me a little bit for that bit of it off. Okay, now that everything here smells of old smoked ham. It smells like go. someone's barbecuing on the balcony with gasoline again. This is not allowed. Uh, you only want 10,000, so no. Uh, 5,000 final offer. We don't have that. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm most delighted to get rid of, I, I mean, to sell you this charming abode. Enjoy your new home. And with that, we get the key. Might be a good idea to invest in a keychain, huh? <laughs> Let me guess, this place is actually decent. Okay, have a. It's a bit of a hovel, but still, it would be better. It it could have been more of one. Okay, and we can use it as a healing spot. But more importantly, we now have the key, so we can go back in time, open it up, give Dolkin the scare of a lifetime, and convince him to convince his younger self to. No, get his head on straight. We're going to get a bigger boat at so, at some point, because some areas oh, some areas are just unreachable at the moment. Is this supposed to be a reference to Wind Waker, Zelda? Uh, how do you mean exactly with the how with how the boat is? The way he sails on the boat. Hmm, bit of a stretch maybe, but could be. Okay, first era, back to second era. <clears throat> we can visit the Sylphs whenever we want, but Dolkin is closer at the moment. And we, from here, we should, from uh, Genova, we should be able to move on to the Sylph Forest. We'll probably get in a boss fight with the Guardian, since it's corrupted. As nice as this little animation is, I would 
rather we be able to skip it with a button press. Okay. I will welcome hmm. some rain. Okay. Hello there. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Home but Oh! I know you! Not this nightmare again. Listen, I'm going to wake up soon, so I just wanted to tell you one more time. Tell you how sorry I am. I should have... Listened to you. Yes, should have listened. I was only following orders. I had no other choice. All those people, dead. Yet you did have a choice, to follow orders or to disobey them. Because of me, my fault. If only... If only you'd carried the Emperor's seal of confidence. As I do. My Medal of Honor. I never take it out of the cabinet nowadays. I don't deserve it. Leave me! It marks the Emperor's trust, confers a certain prestige, and looks stunning on the mantle <laughs> to boot. And we can't go his armor. I was right! I was right, just not in that manner. <laughs> I was right in a read it up manner. Like, I was right if you need something up from the Emperor. Just did not expect in this. I expect we'll go to the Emperor and ask him, not. Steal the better from the future Tolkien's uniform. Yeah. <laughs> so again, okay. I was sort of right, like just right in what we needed, but yeah, I, extremely I, wrong road to get it. Yeah, I, I thought we had to get him to write something, but uh, yeah, just yoinking his medal as a and using it as a sign of trust from the emperor also works. We're getting like a real uh, <laughs> point-and-click adventure game uh, protagonist now, are we, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Guybrush would be proud. Right. Okay. On the way back, we can go hand off that to uh, young Dolkin. For now, you have a self steer. Be careful not to lose your way in the sacred grove, as different eras emerge there. Is this going to be like, uh... uh the Lost boy. Woods? You're not a cryptomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, vines that are in the way. These are totally references to Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, oh, now I see it. Now I see it. Hmm. Okay. There, Vina can deal with those. <clears throat> Pardon? Pardon? And hello there. Uh. You? Ah. Ah. Okay, you were just an instant kill. Luckily, we checkpoint here. Uh, are we supposed to be here? This feels sort of like we should be here, the last. Nah, I, I think he's just meant to be... Yep, there we go. We go to an earlier time and... No, oh, that thing is still here. Hmm. I was hoping we could get to before this thing existed. Can we... It's... It spits fire. No, we can't freeze it. No, like it spits acid. Yeah, it looked like flames to me. Yeah, now yeah, all of those big just... things are gone. Green. They were green fire. Okay. So it could have been acid fire? And there's another one up there, it seems. Yep. 
Okay, we're going. Are we going to have to hide in the woods or something? Oh, yeah. This is a thing that uh, the original Evo Land did a lot, was going back in time, uh, back and forth in time, to get over things that uh, would be fully grown in other times. Also, can we cut that down? Yeah, we can cut it, but we can't. Oh right, we can also just do, uh, we can just do that ourselves. Okay. Um. What is with that smoke up there? Oh, bubbling? Bubbly, okay, we... bubbly! Wait, what? Okay, okay this... Seems the stream timer went off early for some reason. Since we still oh, yeah. have about five minutes, I must have said it wrong. Or just started it at the wrong time. Ready? I saw you online here five minutes earlier than usual. So you could have put it on the right time. You started it early. Okay. Um. Okay. Stream. Oh. Hmm. Stream time number says two hours. Typically by the end it says two hours and five. So yeah, I, I must have. I must have started yeah, it too early or something. Yeah. Normally Weird. you you go on the stream uh, as on Discord about the. Uh, like five minutes before, but I saw you already 15 minutes before. Yeah, that For is different. That, that's, that's not, I don't start the stream until 5 4. Hmm. Yeah, I just meant like I saw you pop up uh, on the say you are screen sharing already uh, five minutes earlier than usual. So mm, I guess in, you, in your habit, you accidentally started earlier than you realized. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I don't see what we are to do here. We yeah. can't. Can we I, get I past that thing now? I suspect we need to go to uh, Dolken for. I feel like. I feel like this it might be the place where we get the final fragment. Now this is where we get the nature one. It's the 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 last one, the fragment of time. Oh, they were right. said to be. They were said to be in the Windy Valley. No, was it Windy? Yeah, I think in the Windy Valley somewhere with a special magilith. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. No, I feel like we get somewhere if we go to Dalkin at least. We have what we need for him. Yeah, I might. For next time, I might look up some. What about he to do here? Since those massive carrots, radishes, whatever. It doesn't look like we can get rid of them, at least. And I think there is a safe point near First Era Dulcan. Hmm. Okay. Okay, stretch. Have we prepared the stretch bench? And I'm a bit surprised that the ocean isn't spilling over into the, the hole that was made. And there's going to be something like it, with this serpent. It looks like he made a, such a big crater and he actually was out the sea. But if you were to make a hole in it... Man. It would yeah, push outwards, a... so yeah, it would have. There would be a wall at the edge of the crater. Yeah, this reminds me. In Warhammer Fantasy. There is a city built in a meteor crater. Hmm. In the Empire, I think that, I think it was Talabaheim. I th I. Pretty sure there is at least one real life city that's built inside a crater, but it's such a massive crater that you wouldn't even know that it is actually a, a crater. Yeah, I don't I know that one one they are aware it's a crater, for they consider it a, I, I forgot if they, if they consider it to be the place where the twin tile comet landed or something. Oh wait, no, it's still in there, so it might be some other comet. What? You carry an Imperial Medal? A sacred emblem of the Emperor's Trust. Which means the Emperor wishes for me to join forces with you? 
Well then, I have no choice. One must follow orders. Any help I can provide is yours, should you need it. With Dolkin's help, you'll be able to recruit and command an army. Prevent the mages from reaching Demonia. Go, okay. old school fire emblem. Oh, yep. fire? Uh, wait, no, not that mm. fire. Watch out. It's a patrol for Magis' army. We have to strike quickly before they alert the rest of their forces. If your friends judge rightly, Solid Snail, you're an able strategist. But I won't let you lead our future army until I know what you are fully capable of. You take command. Should be a good way to show me what you can do. Attack! Tactical RPG mode, finally you get a chance to think it over. Okay. Very uh, Fire Emblem slash uh, Advanced Wars. Okay, what is this protect? Okay, you oh, push you... me inside the sheet wall. Let's see. I can't reset that. I can see how far they can travel and attack. Okay. One of the archers is going to take a shot at Dalkin. But if we don't move past there, the, everyone else should be ready. Let's do that charge. Yeah, I really want to put them inside the, uh, the shield uh, buffs. I think you need to protect them. Yeah, but at that range, they'll be out of range anyways. Don't know if you need to if if you can move after charging. Okay, enemy turn. They move to him. Yep. Takes a shot. Okay. No. Let's see. Soldier, recruit, archer, 35, 40 damage. 20. You're going to be a problem. So... Okay, yeah. Hard hit. Okay. You are... Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, let's see. If we put you here, then? Uh oh. Here? I probably don't hurt our own character. Probably not. Yeah, there we go. And those in are frozen, so let's move you here. Attack. Okay, those charge abilities are going to be real strong for this. Okay, your punch is an AoE and pushes back. Okay, and then slash is just a line attack. Okay. <laughs> What is that? That number that keeps building after each kill must be a requisition or something. There we go. Well done, an astonishing victory. So at Snail, you have what it takes to be a great commander. In fact, you seem to possess many talents. Let's move on and look for a strategic location to set up camp. Okay. What we really should be looking out for is a save point as well. Save! You see, the, you saw the same thing in the corner pop up. Yeah, up there again. Okay. Alright, so, so it's saved then. Perfect. This camp probably belongs to the patrol we bumped into. Let's set up here for now. Listen here, Salt Snail. To wage war, you need troops. I can bring some over from the Empire. The more victories we secure, the more soldiers will be inclined to join up. With us? Go see if you can muster troops from the command tents. Then join me to secure the area. Okay, that is what those points are going to be for. And this has to be the command tent. Welcome to the command tent. Let's see. We can we can use 100 points to get one more unit. Or no, we can get a recruit. Then we can spend points to upgrade them either to a soldier or an archer. And soldiers can be upgraded to knights or cavalry. Okay. Yep. I think the last one is the knights. 
Uh, knights on foot or knights on cavalry? Or on horseback? Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, we can sp we can redo that a little bit l l next time. So a tiny bit early, but by like only a few seconds. More of uh, late. Okay. Okay, five minutes overtime now. Uh, uh, whatever. Okay, let's head on over here and we go look for someone to raid. And yeah. We have our second stream in about yeah two hours fifty five minutes after dinner, so let me change the screen share for Drakir. Go live and let's see. Oh, a lot of people are online. Zena Voyam. Zena is online with Stardew Valley. Karen I is playing Baldur's Gate 3, so is Sour Walrus, so is Big V Streams, and K9 as well. Uh, next we have Puffle, who is just chatting at the moment. Thankathon Day 2, okay. Uh, Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Frogcast is playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay, uh, quick mute, because I forgot to do that beforehand. Good thing I do keep that. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the MMO. Yep. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Next up, we have Edrim with Final Fantasy XIV. Yep. Uh, WBPL is streaming Breath of the Wild as well. Ruffle Raccoon also with Final Fantasy. Kiri Natsuyoko with Blood. Horatius the Dwarf is just chatting. Horatius Happy Hour with Pumpkin Potion. <laughs> okay, uh, all the... <laughs> oh, I recognize her. I think I've seen her about uh, on YouTube, uh, visiting some other YouTubers. Okay. And that's about it. So, who would you say to raids? Um... Uh, uh, play Star Wars? Uh, yeah. Okay, Frog Cass. Well, uh, not sure if we suggest... can... Which one would you suggest? Uh, Xena. And... Did I skip over I'm Nice because they're streaming Final Fantasy XIV as well? Yeah, okay. In a, in a, in a Cena or the one playing Star Wars? Okay. Um, I think we raided Xena somewhat recently. I, I really should keep a notepad or something for the people we've recently raided or such. Yeah, and I think you're right. We did raid them in, recently. If I recognize the character now. Yeah. Let's go see the frog then. Okay. Copy the name, our place, and then slash raid. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy, and thank you, of course, as always, for Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, like I said, second stream today in about two and a half hours ish uh, with Dave the Diver. Oh, yeah. And I've been finally catching up. Uh, <laughs> I... <clears throat> Go ahead. I was say I I've been already looking forward to it. Okay. And let's uh, not have now I've forgotten what I was going to say. Um... <laughs> I'm completely blanking now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dave the diver in about two and a half hours. Um... What was it? Was I going to say now? Was this all about David Diver? Or the game? Don't think so. Uh, oh, right, now I remember. I'm, I'm catching up with uploads again onto uh, YouTube. Uh, I have uploaded basically every stream up to this one. I think... Um, uh, actually, yeah, I think I also uploaded the last Doom one. I just need to publish them after I configure the data and such, which uh, isn't really that hard, but it gets tedious when you have to do with 12 and more. And yeah, it was catching up on the uploads, Laser Boy. Thank you. And yeah. Tomorrow, 50-50 chance on if we'll do a Showcase Sunday or something else, like a filler. Uh, maybe more Evo Land. Uh, probably not more Dave the Diver. Unless yeah, we I mean, do that in the evening as well. 
Ja, vi är på Vibidur, det är väl en evening, Omo eller Noor in the evening, depending yeah. on Rom there. But And... Uh, yeah, so, show kick Sunday, tomorrow in the afternoon, or Evil Land, I'll be open for, for... I do feel we could try to get Evil Land rolling a bit more. Yeah, and I'll probably pick up, yeah, I'll probably look up a guide to at least speed things along. Uh, but for now, I think we'll probably be busy with the RPG style of that. Hopefully that won't get dragged out too long, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Beyond that, though, I don't think there's anything else, really. So let's get started with that raid. And uh, yeah, thank you again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls. <laughs> mm.